She went to get her own groceries in the hallway. I wonder if she did that just to be able to film it or because she's alone. Wah, wah. Guys, so I'm going to do a small um, grocery haul. Um, these are just a few things for snacks and for, you know, I, I'm going to cook something tomorrow, inshallah. But I got some ingredients to make something I'm really craving. So as you know, we order out a lot. Sometimes it's just cheaper to do that for us. I've said this many times, but, you know, by the time you buy all the ingredients to make a dish, I don't know, it just depends. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of good deals for takeout around here, especially local, more traditional Arabic food um, as opposed to the chain restaurants. So that's we order out a lot. We do eat out probably more than I cook. Uh, but once in a while, I like probably. Oh, I, lo I love when she talks to the camera to, like, create this life that isn't real uh, and makes things up as if we don't watch her and know exactly what's going on. We, you know, I, I probably cook less than we order out. When's the last meal she cooked? Because she just ate Burger King. Spoiler alert, that's the next one we're going to watch. She doesn't cook. That's why it can be a $16 grocery haul. I guess that makes sense. Where's my whole cake? Thank you for the super chat. You don't seem into reacting anymore. <laughs> Not to the boring shit. What, like, how am I supposed to answer that? Do you enjoy talking about boring shit day after day? I, I don't even know what to say to that. You don't seem into reacting anymore. Okay. If you say so. I like to make something that I'm craving. Uh, maybe a Canadian recipe, like a comfort food from back home. Like when I made the shepherd's pie, the pate chinois, whatever. And around eating out, we usually eat out maybe, you know, once a day we'll order a main meal other than sometimes we'll get like juice or coffee or something out but um there's things that we like to have in the kitchen always drinks um for Salah and I so there's always that uh little things to snack on or things to make small meals you know we always have like eggs and bread and stuff like that cheeses and stuff so I'll just show you just a few things we got now you have to let me know as the audience in the comment section if you think that all of this stuff is worth what it cost and it cost five kb weighty dinar or 16 60 and 63 us and it's about 22 or 23 dollars canadian so all right so first thing i got is this loaf it's actually a huge loaf of bread white bread but i need no there's no but after white bread white bread for a diabetic. That's like the worst possible bread you can buy. There shouldn't be a but after the sentence. We don't give a shit. Again, it's not our betas. It's not our legs, not our blood sugar. You don't need to butt anything. Show us what you bought. You want to keep buying white bread for a diabetic? You know, live your best life for as long as you're living it. it doesn't affect any one of our lives. Need white bread for a recipe. So that's why I got six cans they had a special on six cans of seven up zero sugar i've been buying zero sugar sodas for myself sometimes if we run out of the zero sugar and i'm really desperate for a soda i'll have like a glass of pepsi but i try to keep it the zero sugar and i've been drinking a lot of diet pepsi i'm kind of sick of it so i thought i'll try the diet seven up i do drink that's a really good point. She did just say that. I think it was last week, wasn't it? She's not part of the white bread world anymore, like like as a dig to North America or something. Girl, when's the last time somebody who doesn't have kids, because I know kids eat sandwich, like that's sandwich bread for kids for their lunches and stuff. I get it, okay? No judgment. But honest to God, when is the last time that somebody without kids and with diabetes bought a, a loaf of bread like that? That's insane. Mostly water outside of the um these drinks i try to limit to like one or two a day and the rest i just drink a ton of water you guys you guys have seen me drink a lot of water so yeah um one thing i love to snack on is grape leaves and these are the pre-made ones they come like that there's four it's not really a great deal because you only get four. Oh, she's broke broke wow she just got the youtube pay how is she so broke already She's buying like single cans of drinks and four dolma at a time. What is this? But whenever I order from here, I always order these because I really want to snack on them. I love them. And we were out of butter. So I got a four pack of unsalted butter. What brand is this? Gold brand. 
I don't even know what that means, but anyways, unsalted butter. Okay. We have some McCain straight cuts. What? You bought fries in a bag? Fucking McCain fries in a bag. How lazy can you be? Cut up a fucking potato. This is somebody who does nothing. What do they need everything in like convenience packs for? All you have to do is cut up a fucking potato. It's a potato. Is that too much cooking for her to do? Come on. Forks and knives. Ugh, thank you again for the super chat. Does Canada get Dave's killer bread? I've never seen it. Ontario might. We definitely don't have it here though. Traditional French fries. We have some broccoli because they didn't have Brussels sprouts at this place. Normally I get Brussels sprouts, but broccoli or Brussels sprouts, uh, I like to put them in the air fryer with some butter, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, um, garlic powder, a bit of salt and pepper. And that's like one of my favorite snacks, honestly. No joke. Yeah, you're right. She, she, she takes out a potato. She puts it on the counter and like throws up her shoulders like, what do I do? I don't know. Where's the bag? I don't know what to do. She calls Shmi. Ma, how do I make fries? Shmi's fucking rolling her eyes. The stepfather's like, oh, fuck this bitch. <laughs> Extra dope on dude. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, but what kind of bread you use for tomato sandwiches then? My favorite, favorite bread for a tomato sandwich is Russian bread. You know, it's like brown all the way through and it's got those little grains on the surface of it. Oh, oh, sliced Russian bread. Nothing better for a tomato sandwich. I got some shredded mozzarella because I do want to make poutine, which is also the reason for the fries. I'm just like, honestly, I'll just tell you I'm craving. Um, cat hair in my eye. I'm craving like a hot chicken sandwich with poutine on the side. That's one of my favorite comfort meals oh in my Canada. God. And I'm craving that maybe with some broccoli. I don't know. Another quick meal, like quick and cheap and super easy, super easy meal. I love the cans that have this on them. Is just like, I love these baked beans and tomato sauce. Um, I'll cook some rice with like chicken broth, put a little butter, salt and pepper. Um, and just put, have some beans with it. Beans, rice. You don't need beans and rice. Oh boy, those cans of beans are so like, well, no, I hate those beans. To me, it's fucking gross. I know they're so popular though. It's so heavy. It's so oh, processed and salty. You're going to make some rice with it. Yeah, no, that sounds smart. But you just, Christy, thank you for the super chat. And the cycle continues. It certainly does. This is so dumb. You think this is food bank food? Oh, you never heard of the bread either in Ontario? Okay, thanks for confirming. Love it. <laughs> You think this is food bank food? Interesting. Why is it such a small quantity? It could be. How would they have gotten her the McCain fries, though? Maybe they're popular over there. I don't fucking know. It's popular over here. They suck. Charlotte, thank you for the super chat. Dave's killer bread, excellent. Thin has 70 calories. Yeah, I've never seen that here at all. I'm going to go Google in it. Wait, Dave's Killer Bread has something called white bread done right. That's all slower carbs. Oh, your sugar foot dad will even eat it. Interesting. She should definitely look for that then. Addicted to cold brew. Thank you for the super chat. How is she out of butter again? She doesn't cook. I don't know. Maybe she just butters everything. Like I don't know. But yeah, they, you would think she bakes the quantity of, whoa, wait, it's unsalted butter. Maybe it is a food bank haul. Because so many people in Kuwait would be baking their own things. Like, who buys unsalted butter if you're not baking with it? Oh, and before anyone says, well, it's because of her diabetes, so she got the unsalted. The rest of the grocery haul doesn't give a damn about the betas. Do you think she really picked the butter that did? Hmm, interesting. Alisa, thank you for the super chat. Hi, French from Tennessee. What's your favorite meal to cook at home? I'm 23 and need real grown-up recipes. My favorite meals to cook at home are always um, seafood. It's easy to cook. You don't dirty up a lot of shit, and it always turns out to be the most delicious delicious of things. So, yeah, basically any anything from the sea. Seafood, fish, 
<laughs> put me in the water and open my mouth and I'll eat whatever swims in. It is what it is. But yeah, just in terms of like no mess, quick to cook, you know, those are my faves. Maybe some broccoli with it, a vegetable, but it's a very filling small meal. You know, like this is like an example of a small meal I'll make for us. Like, you know, if we already ordered out our main meal and we're like up later than anticipated and we're really hungry, um, I'll just make something like this, you know. No, that's not a good idea. You, you, first of all, rice and beans is not a small meal. It is not. <laughs> rice and beans in the middle of the night when you've already had dinner and are probably going to go to bed soon. Really not a good idea. Going to bed with all that sitting in your stomach. What the hell? Sassy Mama, thank you for the super chat. It's homemade, guys, so it's healthy. Does she consider it homemade if she cracks open the can of beans and, like, heats it up in a pot? Is it like, well, once it hits the pot, now it's homemade food. No, instead of, because I don't like eggs. Like, if Salah's really hungry outside of, like, ordering something, like a main meal, I'll usually make him some fried eggs and with bread. We have, always have tons of bread in the freezer um, with some, like, cheese, maybe some olives. If we have, you know stuffed eggplant um we have mortadella he loves mortadella meat so i'll make him like a little meal like that and he has some snacks or whatever so but yeah we both love these beans <laughs> i don't know tin beans i know they're very popular in the uk but um in canada i always used to buy like the heinz tin beans but they were made with um maple very sugary these are they don't have the maple ones here maple is not very popular as you can tell that's one thing i kind of miss is you know maple but it's it's very high sugar you know when i'm diabetic but um everything you eat is high sugar she thinks those beans are doing her a favor i would genuinely be curious in the difference i'm gonna look this up between like the tomato beans and the maple beans I know the maple beans are going to be higher, but like, it's probably not even that much higher. She's Delulu about the things that she eats and thinks that she's doing herself a real favor there. Okay, girl. Razumi, thank you for the super chat catching up, but uh, ALR fails to understand that trolls would have encouraged the relationship to witness harm on her. You're absolutely right. Oh, I, I miss ma good old maple syrup. So, but tomato sauce beans are just as good. And I really like them with some rice and some broccoli or a vegetable. I really need to get some Brussels sprouts. I miss them, they're so good. Especially in the air fryer, you let them get like a little bit burnt. And last, it's certainly not least, we have um, some dill pickles. Now, I cannot find dill pickle uh, other than this kind here. They do have Vlasic, but I think it's an imported. Any, I've noticed anything that, you know, is like I, we can find in America or Canada, usually imported and usually pretty expensive. Julia, I know you want the grocery bag. Um, I have my sidekick here, yeah. Did you think she just taught the peasants something? Wow, what a crazy thought that things that are imported and have to travel from one side of the world to the other cost more than they did in the place that it's made. Wow. Oh, my God, I learned something today. I'm smarter. Uh, better Betty, thank you for the super chat. You're right, eh? She did. And she, said, she said that she would put it on toast. Butter and sugar as a kid. Oh, boy. Maybe that's the recipe she needed the loaf of bread for. She, like, when, whenever we do groceries, she gets excited because she knows she can play with the bag. All right. Go ahead, honey. Hello. Julia. Mama. <laughs> I'll tear these, uh, these handles off so they don't get wrapped. How about you buy the cat some toys? Wow, look at us. We're finally seeing the cat play for the first time, and it's with a plastic bag. How about when you go to buy the cat some toys, you also take her to get vaccinated and make that appointment for her spaying? Around her neck, but uh, typical cat, huh? Eh? Yes. I had to show you that. <laughs> I don't know what it is about plastic bags, but cats love them. So, yeah, so normally, like, you know, like, you can find Vlasic in some stores, but they're very pricey. I don't know. I'm not going to pay that. Well, she's doing this for the community, right? Because if she shows the cat enough times, everyone's going to forget that she's a certified animal neglector and abuser. So, mama, mama, here's your plastic bag, mama. At like nine bucks for a jar of pickles. So I usually get this and uh, crack it open right away. They're very dilly. You can smell the dill right away. Bismillah. Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. That's not the mortadella he eats, though. It's not real, like, like Italian mortadella. He eats what kind of, it looks like Spam. It's like in a can, like a Spam. Or cold cuts that are made of pork, uh, um, of pork, of uh, beef. And she calls both of those things, she's bought them and called it mortadella, but neither one is mortadella. Or not mortadella in the way we know mortadella. Actually, while we're at it, let's try a grape leaf. Mm -hmm. They're so good. I love them. So sometimes I'll snack on grape leaves and pickles with the diet soda. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, um, most of the pickles, as I was saying, they come with like, um, there's a big jar of pickles I like to get in the snack section at the Jamea, the grocery store in Arabic, it's called Jamea. Um, and it's a big jar, but they use tarragon instead of dill, which honestly, they're delicious, but sometimes I miss that dill, you know, so that's why I got those. Um, anyways, spending like five minutes, 10 minutes talking about pickles. So yeah, 10 minutes talking about pickles. Cause you got to get those mid rolls in girl. If you like dill pickles, you know, you can just make some fucking pickles. <laughs> Thank you.